Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable again with Dave Harris. And uh, today we're going to talk about conduit uh, cable loading and lubrication and tray diameters and how uh, you run cabling through uh, metallic conduit. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay, so what we've got set up here is a one trade side or, or one trade size or one inch inside diameter metallic conduit. The conduit's protected on uh, the feed end with a plastic bushing, which is important to prevent damage to the cable jacket. Uh, because if you start running cable jacket uh, over raw uh, metallic conduit, you know what could possibly happen. Rip. Um, we're gonna be using our True Cable Cable Lubricant. This is a non-toxic synthetic wax-based lubricant. It is non-flammable. So it's, it's quite inoffensive. Um, just, you know, obviously don't go putting it on your Cheerios or something. Um, so what we're gonna do is also talk about the conduit loading ratios. The uh, recommendation across the entire industry is 40% initial load. And then on additional subsequent down the road adds and changes, not to exceed 60% maximum capacity. So we're gonna go with the 40% rule to start with. So we're using our Cat 6A unshielded riser cable, and that has a 7.40 millimeter cable jacket outside diameter. If you look at the chart, uh, you'll notice that if you go down and you see the one trade size, and then you go across, and then you go seven to eight millimeter uh, cable jacket OD, you've got a, a number of five. The five is the maximum number of cables for 40% loading that you can get into a one trade size conduit for this kind of cable. So that's how we came up with number five. Uh, don't try to get more through there. Uh, the reason being that you're gonna end up uh, pulling on a cable too hard and that can ruin a cable. Uh, the, so the cable lubricant is designed to allow the cable to slide freely through the conduit. And that's very important because over longer conduit runs, uh, 50, 60, 70 feet, um, what's gonna happen is these uh, cable jackets are gonna start uh, adding more and more and more resistance as more cable goes into the pipe. So you want as much help as possible, and that's why we use a synthetic wax-based lube. Well, it's good to have two people, one on each end of the pull. Um, even though uh, this is going to pull straight through, you never know when there's going to be a kink uh, or a loop in the cable before you pull through and the loop in the cable will turn into a kink. Um, so if somebody has to guide it in, somebody has to pull it all the way through. Now we put the cable lubricant on a, on a towel so that we can more evenly apply it and make sure that it's applied to the external edges of the cable. We don't want to gunk it up too much. Uh, I've seen people take this and just squirt it in the conduit uh, it's a waste of, waste of lubricant. and uh... I'm ready. Okay. And tell me to stop if there starts to be a problem. No, it's okay. Wow, this stuff's sliding pretty easy. Okay. So we're through. And there we go. It's hard to see, but uh, it looks like about, it's about half filled. And uh, when you take into account the spaces between the actual cable jackets, that's 40%. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we just demonstrated pulling some cabling into some conduit. I mean, yeah, it was a small little bitty conduit, but just a good, you know, good for demonstration purposes. The main thing was to introduce you to uh, our synthetic cable lubricant which is critical to making sure that cabling doesn't get ruined as you're pulling it through conduit. And also to you know, introduce to you to the fill ratios that apply. This video goes with a written blog that I wrote, which has a table in it that'll actually tell you uh, how many cables you can get through a conduit um, for a 40% fill rate. And so that, that's really what the main things are, and in addition to good communication you know, making sure that somebody is at the feed end, somebody's at the pull end, and that they're talking back and forth, you know, never make an assumption. You're pulling cabling through a, a conduit. So uh, you don't want things to go wrong at that point. You could ruin a whole lot of cable or have a big problem and then, 
end up uh, taking up a lot of extra time. So best practices, fill ratios, good communication, using a really good cable lubricant, and you're going to have success on your project. So with that said, uh, please hit the notification button, uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, please leave a comment below. We absolutely love to answer comments. And uh, with that, I'm going to say, have a great day. Happy networking.